Today is January 15th, 2023. Halfway through, already through January, already into uh, the year 2023. And, and it is deeply concerning that I might be sitting here doing the same thing one year older and talking about the same thing over and over. So it seems to me that um, this issue with day trading is like a very, very difficult calculus problem where I have to ex ex uh, extend myself out to all the trainings that I have and the trainings that I do not have to solve a very, very difficult problem. So when I was in college, there was a, a class, and the class was to uh, define the, the path of a ink particle within a printer. Apparently, the inkjet utilizes uh, magnetic uh, forces to move the particle from the nozzle to the final destination. And it is a calculus problem. And it fits into a single page. The reason I know is because I solved it and I got the right answer. But it took me, it took me uh, uh, essentially the whole day to solve it. I would write it and I would erase it. I would write it and I would erase it. And then finally I solved it. And then somehow I re erased too much so I had to rethink it something that I had forgotten, I had to retrace and I had to repopulate the equations that I had in order to fit into a single page. Trading right now, uh, I'm studying price action at this point and uh, nothing substantial jumps at me at this point. It is essentially just facts. It's talking about facts and right now that's all it is, just facts. Nothing is sticking. Nothing is, nothing, is, nothing is permeating into my experiences that tells me, okay, this is where the starting point is. And I've also taken um, Al Brooks' uh, uh, price action course. I went through it. Uh, essentially, one video is, is exactly the same as the next video. But there's like 52 hours of the same thing, I thought. Perhaps there's some subtle uh, differences that de uh, that he is aware of, but I'm not aware of. From beginning to the end, it's about the same thing, which I thought, wow, that was excruciatingly boring. So what I plan to do, I so now I thought about it, and I made a video about that, uh, that particular conclusion about the, the chart formation. And chart formation, I believe, what price action and the uh, both mark mark uh, of UK spread betting uh, is specifying and Al Brooks is specifying is that within a uh, intraday it is similar to a book. There's a chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four. Sometimes it could be chapter five or chapter ten from chapter one. Sometimes it could essentially be just is maybe just two chapters or maybe three chapters, meaning that the stock initially begins with a uh, fu uh, futures being green and it goes up. And then after a little bit, it declines, drops to a uh, little bit and then starts climbing up. So essentially it's chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. And, it's, and similar to the case that I've seen on Friday, it is essentially... Uh, it's an all day up kind of thing and it would be it would be a uh, it would be a situation where a substantial amount of capital was left on the table should anyone have sold prior to the big moves that occurred right above the uh, view up levels so the reality is uh, reality is it's a very very difficult calculus problem the reality is when I solve that one particular very difficult calculus problem, it lends itself to be similar to other very difficult calculus problem for that particular chapter. 
because that chapter is attempting to uh, uh, attempting to uh, attempting to uh, educate an individual for that particular concept with numerous numerous same problems problem sets so um, it's it's difficult it's it's difficult for it's difficult to uh, at this stage to keep going and knowing that close to two years have passed and I am nowhere near where I should be I should be consistently profitable right now but I'm not and I'm thinking if it lasts for another three or four years uh, uh, the only thing that I could do is just keep studying study study because that's all I can do that is my future there's no other way there's none there's essentially no other way out of this situation but to keep studying keep studying and keep studying and hopefully one day I'll get to a point where I will essentially turn the corner until then I don't know where the corner is ah I have an idea what the corner is the corner looks like this it looks like a corner and I'll have to just turn it but it and, and so I know what the corner is the corner okay the corner I'm describing what the corner is the corner is so if I were to describe the corner of, of, uh, of day trading is essentially uh, consistency consistency that's the consistency so what's what is the time period that I need to be consistent with I need to be consistent for at least one month then that sparks some some uh, substance to the consistency information right so right now I am not consistent so I need to get there but I don't know what is not what is making what is what is causing me to not be consistent that's the problem I know what it is the corner looks like this so the corner corner of a corner is essentially just goes here and a corner right there see corner corner right there that's a corner right there now uh, corner in day trading is essentially I achieve the the reality of day trading is I don't know that I've turned a corner until I've turned a corner it's like it's like trend it's like trend trading trend is a trend until it's not a trend and so when I get that to that point then I can say to myself oh yeah that's it so one way to do that is by uh, back testing back testing the method that I have and the method I have is is essentially just just one piece of it I need to study more about to to make myself more aware I need to get this chart formation taken care of once I have an, a better understanding of how the chart formation and the market structure is understood then I thought I understood what market structure is so um, so I have to define I have to understand I have to clarify and I have to I have to substantiate substantiate my trading results in order to clearly say to myself I've truly turned the corner so the turning the corner essentially means uh, consistency when I achieve consistency for at least one month at least the reality is consistency means that it's it's essentially it has to be a year a year a year full year of trading uh, consistency that is a clear indication that I've turned a corner that is that is the big picture perspective but it starts one day at a time and one day starts and pretty soon it's gonna be year 2024 I do not wish to be in the same shoe that I'm in right now asking myself when will it be have I made any progress have I have I suffered a devastating loss again 
So, um, the corner, the corner, the corner is when I achieve at least one month of consistency. That right now is the corner. I may take a back step and come back because of some sort of uh, discipline issues. But if I have everything in place, then what I'm doing and I get to that point where it's one month of consistency that I can say to myself, wow, that's the corner. I see my results and I've turned a corner. That's where I need to go. So right now, uh, what I've noticed about day trading is that there are three things that happens in day trading. One of them is either it goes up or down, that's one. It goes sideways, right? <clears throat> or uh, there could be reversals. There could be reversals, and those are the things that are, that are common. So uh, going sideways is very similar to what reversal or reversion is, essentially. So it dips. And then, and then it curves, which is essentially similar to going sideways, but it's actually performing a reversal. And then it goes up, right? So essentially it's in a trend. It takes a little break or keeps going down, which is essentially the same thing, going down. It's taking a little breather, taking a sideways action within that, within that band of, of trading, and then it goes further down, right? So that's one. And that side band, that, in, that is essentially uh, is a, a sideways action. And then when it performs a dipping solution where it performs a, uh, a dip, uh, uh, that means that there is a high probability. That's why there's a thing called cup and handle. And if I look at a daily chart form, there is a, a large bottom wick on a, uh, 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 on a on a candlestick formation where it has a a doji that doji usually signals a uh, reversal a reversion and if i look at it there's usually a signal where it attempted to drop down but buying came in and closed above even though it's red so initially it opened it opened then it dropped and then it closed below but the 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 uh the mass or the length of the candle is small, but the wick is very long, and that usually indicates a reversal. So within one day, there is a characteristics of, of uh, either it's trending, it's going sideways, or it's in a reversion format. So that's where I am, and uh, I believe I believe the key to making uh, being consistent, I'm already on. These two programs with price action will allow me to move in that direction. I just need to re revisit, watch that video, 54 hours of video over and over again. It might, it might even take a month to do, but it's something that I need to, I need to keep studying until it finally hits home. And, I, and, and while I'm doing that, then I need to keep practicing on, on demo as well as uh, in, in live trading. So right now what I plan to do is there are, uh, based on that, that criteria of whether the stock is moving in a direction or it's moving sideways or it's reversion, um, I am in the process of, uh, uh, I am in the process of, uh, what was I doing? I was in the process of adding indicators. So one of the useful things is uh, average trading range. That's one that I can look at. And the volume is a, uh, another significant factor in trading as well. I already have VWAP that I'm using. Uh, and that, that I, need to, I need to understand further the impact of, essentially VWAP is essentially another uh, very thick book, all on its own. Uh, there's also uh, Fibonacci retracement. That's also a thick book by itself, and I've seen that book before. And the other is moving averages. Now, moving averages essentially, uh, essentially uh, uh, provides a support of 
the the uh, the candlestick formation, the movement of the candlestick formation, because the moving the the moving averages essentially averages the highs and lows within a channel of of uh, candlestick movement to provide a trend direction. Although although the although the uh, moving averages are lagging is are an a, a lagging indicator, it generally proves to describe uh, uh, which direction which which direction of the trend is. It is lagging, but it is it is foretelling which direction and what which uh, which direction the the thesis is and so that will be useful for me as well and so anytime there's uh, anytime the the at moving averages whether it's going to be uh, what is that a 10 day 20 day or 50 day or 200 day moving averages that I can see based on the curvature of the moving averages that I can determine whether I can support my own thesis about the the, the, the thesis that I'm going with so what I plan to do is there's a couple layers of trading uh, trading that I'm uh, thinking right now to make it a little bit more complex. And I heard that using too many indicators may be just way too complex and maybe uh, confusing. So what I plan to do is use use the candlestick of formation, understand uh, in the background to identify the characteristics of the subtle chapters of of the candlestick movement, correlate that with the moving averages to determine which direction uh, the market is possibly taking. Now, when I uh, have that background information, then during the day, when my thought, my thesis is bearish, it means that I should be looking for, I should, I should be looking for a stock to retrace down or retrace up based on whether it's a bear market thesis or a bullish market thesis. By doing so, then I can, I can, I can determine whether the steepness of that particular trend is also the average trading range should be for that particular day should be wider or narrower based on the movement of the moving averages, uh, trailing moving averages, exponential moving averages. So in that respect, uh, I plan to further, I plan to further uh, develop this um, reversion trading, uh, so that I could utilize that uh, each and every day. And once I become good at that particular uh, setup, then I can explore other setups, utilizing all the supporting infrastructure that I've learned, and then surrounding it with that particular new setup and becoming a master of that particular setup. And then in the future, then whenever that, that particular setup arises, that I can use that as well. And in the meantime, the, the understanding of the emotions and other uh, impulsive nature uh, and, the, uh, and, the, and the FOMOs, those have been thoroughly, thoroughly discussed it does not mean that that has been completely suppressed. Uh, as Jesus Christ hears everything that I say, so does the devil. And the devil, because I am not Jesus Christ, the devil attempted to tempt Jesus Christ three times in the desert. And the fact that he attempted to even have the audacity to approach Jesus Christ with some sort of temptation just compared to Jesus Christ is foolish but the reality is I'm only a very uh, I'm, I'm not a very bright man it's a it's a track record look at look at look where I am <laughs> I am not a very bright man okay so the devil will always be there and I have to be conscious of the devil and the devil will make me like click right before when the setup occurs and and and, and I, I am aware of that the 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 that 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 entity that is always hearing what i say what i think and what i do he's already aware as well so the corner 
the corner is proving to myself in one month that I have, even though I made losses, that my winnings will overcome my losses and finally become consistently profitable. So as I approached this year and I made a resolution, I even made a prayer, a very selfish prayer. Although the goal and the dream of mine, I know that I will, in about, I'm 53 years old, and I say that my lifespan is probably at most 20 more years. I think maybe the next 20 years, uh, and every day that, that, that disappears is getting closer and closer to that, that period. And the faster that I get to become financially independent, is then, um, is then that I can I can uh, uh, there's there's a couple of things that I would like to do and hopefully hopefully I will be able to do that and uh, that part of it is uh, it by no means uh, selfish. When I cross that road, when I cross that bridge, I will discuss it, and uh, I look. See, a lot of these YouTube video pro, pro, uh, pro day traders, they, they probably uh, do a lot of charitable work. I suppose that they, that's what they do. And they probably consume a lot of consumer goods. Um, so, so the motivation for my part uh, is different. Initially, I thought, you know, maybe I should get a, a Rolex. But I thought to myself, you know, if I bought a Seiko... Uh, the, the regular normal Seiko, not King Seiko, just regular not King Seiko. That's more, that's equivalently expensive as a Rolex. That's not what I want. So the simplicity in my life is to obtain a, just a Seiko. I'm not interested in Apple watches where it's digital and things like that. It's, so essentially those Apple watches, what they are is a, uh, you know, those Casio watches that had like uh, LCD display, uh, LCD, LCD displays, the black and white LCD displays, and the case is all like uh, a rugged, ruggedized uh, 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 a plastic material, right? And so, and the and the and the uh, wristband is also like uh, ruggedized uh, rubber material. So it reminds me of that. So essentially, those Apple watches and things like that are, are, are essentially a higher, more sophisticated version of the Casio uh, digital watches. So, uh, being an old man, who is, who is cemented in the old ways of life, it is simply, is simply satisfying to, to adorn myself with a uh, analog. Uh, inexpensive watch that I don't have to worry about when I wash dishes okay so when I wash dishes I don't want to I don't want to have a Rolex watch that's uh, being immersed in bleach uh, in hamburger materials and salad materials and and uh, and uh, and when I shake it and when I move the mop vigorously uh, it, it's uh, uh, it mechanically it's not it's not stressed as much <clears throat> And when I run into things, I bang it again there. I put scratches on it, and it's possible the battery needs to be replaced. I, I'm certain, like a very, very expensive car, the maintenance on it will be extraordinarily expensive. I'm surprised that there is an insurance for those very expensive car, uh, expensive watches. So the idea is to, in the future, and I will, I will buy action disclose once I finally turn the corner and when I finally get to the point of prosperity I will record the dreams and the and the hopes that I had and moving forward and clearly demonstrate the the thoughts that I had before I took on this journey and I pray that the the reasoning uh, behind my motivation to become consistently profitable in order to be financially independent uh, remains strong within Jesus Christ. <laughs> so 
I truly hope that um, even if I am not considered profitable next time, th next year, this year, next next year at this time, that I, I hopefully, hopefully I have made some significant strides. I I heard it takes years, um, and I'm I'm no spring chicken, right? Spring chicken, right? Young, the mind is like, like pulsing with good stuff. It didn't have like like 50 bags of full bags of chips that, that enter my uh, bloodstream and all that stuff, right? Anyway, so hopefully, hopefully that is the corner.